the testimony on the parables of the secrets of heaven and their true meanings. To all the pastors, theology students, and saints who are participating in the Shincheonji Online Seminar, it is great to meet you. I am Lee Dok Jun, who is the host of today's event. Today, as the words of the secrets of heaven hidden in parables and its true meaning become testified through YouTube to the whole world, there are many believers who hear and realize about this word and entering their hope of heaven. We truly thank God for this time. As the secrets of heaven becomes clearly and accurately become testified at this time, let us have a precious time to realize its true meaning. Firstly, let us pray in the same heart. Our thankful and gracious Father God, we truly thank you for your grace and love that you provide us today. Especially today, as the words of the secrets of heaven, the parables and its true meaning, becomes testified to the whole world through the Shincheonji online seminar, we thank you for this grace that you allow. In order to understand your word, with a desperate heart, all the pastors and the believers around the world who have come out at this time, please add your grace so we could all understand your precious word and this realization can be filled in our hearts. With the instructor who will testify the word, please allow your unlimited grace and love as well. And to all the believers worldwide, please allow your unlimited understanding of the word. We ask for the Holy Spirit of God and the grace to be filled at this time. From the time of the beginning till the end, please be with us and receive glory. With all these words we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today's topic will be Lesson 22, The Three Kinds of Israel. The word will be testified with this topic. About God's chosen people, Israel, we will find out in detail. Then, let us also have a time to realize today and receive much hope, we will introduce Seoul James Tribe Instructor Han Hagen. To all the believers, the pastors, saints around the world who have the hope of Kingdom of Heaven, it is great to meet you. I am Center Instructor Han Hae-gun, who learned the word from the tribe leader of Seoul James Tribe among the Shincheonji 12 tribes. Our tribe leader learned the word from Shincheonji Chairman Yi man -hi. Here, as we are here today, through the Shincheonji, testimony of the secrets of heaven, the parables and its true meaning, Everyone who is here at the Shincheonji Online Seminar, we truly welcome you. Among the word that I learned, today's topic will be Elementary Lesson 22, The Three Kinds of Israel. I will testify the word without adding or subtracting. Our pastors may know this word. There may be those who do not know this word. But if we are the believers who have the hope of Kingdom of Heaven, it is a very important word that we must know, so I ask for you to listen once again. Then first of all, I would like to explain about the answer about the figure of Israel. The meaning of Israel is to overcome, and it symbolizes the nation of the chosen people created by the one who overcomes, who have become Israel. And Israel can be distinguished into three kinds. Physical Israel, spiritual Israel, and there's also the new spiritual Israel. At the time of the Old Testament, as a grandson of Abraham, Jacob overcame, the physical Israel began. At the time of the first coming, Jesus fought and overcame the world, and spiritual Israel began. At the time of the fulfillment of Revelation, which is today, through the one who overcomes, who fought and overcame the group of the dragon, new spiritual Israel begins, and this lasts forever. Among the three kinds of Israel that begins through the one who overcomes, we will firstly learn about the physical Israel who are the chosen people of the time of the Old Testament. Who did the physical Israel begin with? As we see, it was Jacob. 
Let's read Genesis 32, 26-28. Then the man said, Let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. The man asked him, What is your name? Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with men and have overcome. In Genesis 32, 26-28, as Jacob was alone at the fort of Jabbok to meet his brother Esau, he meets an angel of God. At this time, he wrestles and overcomes the angel, and through this event, he receives a new name, Israel, which means he struggled with God and have overcome. Afterwards, in Genesis 35, 9-11, God appears to Jacob and says, You will no longer be called Jacob. Your name will be Israel. Be fruitful and increase in number. A nation and a community of nations will come from you. This was a word of promise that through the physical descendants of Jacob, a nation will be established. God established a nation through Jacob as promised, and as it began through Jacob, who became Israel, that nation was called Israel. Jacob had 12 sons, and in Genesis 49, verse 28, these 12 sons are called the 12 tribes of Israel. As Jacob, through the 12 sons, became fruitful and increased in number, the 12 tribes of Israel was formed. In Genesis 37, 9-11, it says, the twelve tribes of Israel, created through Jacob, they are God's chosen people, and to tell us that they are God's family, they are figuratively described as the sun, moon, and stars that are in heaven. I'll summarize once again. There was a new name that Jacob received by fighting and overcoming. What was it? It was Israel. And by being fruitful and increasing in numbers, through the seed of the physical descendants, the twelve tribes of Israel were established. As these twelve tribes were formed through the physical descendants of Jacob, they are called the physical Israel. And God later on makes a covenant with them. Let's read the words of Exodus 19, 5-6. Now, if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all nations you will be my treasured possession. Although the whole earth is mine, you will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. God made a covenant with the chosen people of the physical Israel. God promised that if they keep the covenant, they will be God's possession and the kingdom of priests. This means, if the physical Israel keeps the covenant with God well, they'll become the nation that is the eternal chosen people of God. However, if they do not keep the covenant, what will happen? Them being the chosen people will come to an end. Then, did the physical Israel keep the covenant with God well? Let's see whether they kept it or not, and also, let's see its respective result. In 1 Kings chapter 11, King Solomon built the high places for the Gentiles 
and worshipped Gentile gods and made the people of Israel to worship Gentile gods. This was an act of betrayal that broke the promise that they will not worship any other god. And because of this betrayal, God divided Israel into north and south and allowed them both to be destroyed by the Gentile nations, respectively, by Babylon and Assyria. Through this, the era of the physical Israel that began through Jacob came to an end. Let's read Luke 16, verse 16. The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John. Since that time, the good news of the kingdom of God is being preached, and everyone is forcing his way into it. Luke 16, verse 16 says, The law and the prophets were proclaimed until John, as Jesus said. This is telling us that as the work of John the Baptist comes to an end, the era of the Old Testament, the era of the physical Israel, has come to an end. This situation is also explained in Matthew 21, verse 43, that the kingdom of God will be taken away from the physical Israel and it will be given to a people who will produce its fruit. Physical Israel was God's chosen people. However, as they did not keep the word, they came to an end at the time of the first coming. And afterwards, the spiritual Israel became God's chosen people. Then secondly, let us find out about the chosen people at the time of the New Testament, the spiritual Israel. Also, for spiritual Israel to begin, firstly, there must be the one overcomes. Let us read John 16, 33 altogether. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. In John 16, 33, it says, Jesus has overcome the world. Then what does it mean by Jesus overcoming the world? This means, He overcame the devil who has authority over the world of sin. As Jacob overcame and received the name Israel, Jesus also fought and overcame the devil, and thereby Jesus also becomes Israel. Therefore, through Jesus, the era of the chosen people, the spiritual Israel, had begun. Then why would it be called spiritual Israel? When the physical Israel betrayed God, God spoke in Jeremiah 31 verse 22 about the creation of the new thing. Thus, a woman will surround the man, as it said. We can see in Matthew 1, 18-21, Before the time of Jesus was the era of the physical descendants. However, as Jesus was born from Virgin Mary through the seed of the Holy Spirit, it is no longer the physical era anymore, but a new era has begun, which is the spiritual era. Then who became the spiritual chosen people? Let's read John 1, 12-13 all together. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. In John 1, 12-13, it says that all who received Jesus, to those who believed in His name, the right to become the children of God was given. It says, They are the children born not of natural descents, descendants, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. 
This means those who receive Jesus becomes God's chosen people, God's children. They become the chosen people of God, spiritual Israel. This means it is no longer the time when the chosen people are the physical descendants like the era of the Old Testament, but now it is a spiritual chosen people. In Romans 2, 28-29, it says, A man is not a Jew if he is only one hourly, but a man is a Jew if he is one inwardly. Like this, the era of the physical Israel that started from the physical descendants came to an end. And the era of the spiritual Israel through the believers of Christianity who believe in Jesus began 2,000 years ago. We can check this also in Matthew 13. In verse 24, it says, Kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. In verse 37, the man who sowed the good seed is the son of man, it is Jesus. Also, the field is his field, meaning it is the field of the man who sowed the seed. Therefore, this is Jesus' world, which is the churches of Christianity. And as the good seed, which is God's seed, becomes sowed in this Christianity, the children of God born of God's seed becomes a nation of the chosen people in the era of the New Testament. At the time of the first coming, Jesus gave birth to the twelve disciples through the spiritual seed of the Word, like John 1, 12, 13. And through them, the twelve tribes of spiritual Israel were created. As Jacob overcame and as he became fruitful and increased in numbers and established the twelve tribes, likewise, Jesus also overcame the world, became Israel, and delivered to the world of the physical Israel about the word that testifies the fulfillment of the Old Testament. And through the people who believe in those words, he created the twelve tribes of spiritual Israel. Today, according to the words of Jesus, the seed of the gospel of Jesus became spread to the ends of the earth, and all the believers who believe in Jesus worldwide have come to belong to spiritual Israel. The reason why this was possible is because of the martyrdom and effort of Jesus and the disciples. Also, it is through the hard work and effort of all the pastors worldwide. I believe God knew of our pastor's sacrifice and effort and called you to this seminar. I hope our pastors will also deliver this word about the secrets of heaven and its true meaning of the parables and even the physical fulfillment to many people who are carrying a life of faith together, such as the many saints, and we can all enter into the kingdom of heaven together. Then, would spiritual Israel, the churches of Christianity, become the eternal chosen people of God forever? Jesus promised that even the spiritual Israel will come to an end like the physical Israel, and a new era of chosen people will come. Let's read Matthew 24, 29 till 31. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give us light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and all the nations of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. Matthew 24 is a word of prophecy that Jesus promised to fulfill at His second coming.
In verse 29, it says that the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from the sky. As we see in Genesis 37, the sun, moon, and stars symbolize the chosen people of God. The sun, moon, and stars darkening and falling means the chosen people of the spiritual Israel will come to an end. This content can also be seen in Revelation 6, 12-13. It is written that at this time, Jesus returns with the angels and gathers His elect from one end of the heavens to the other. Thus, after the end of the chosen people of the spiritual Israel, the new chosen people are gathered and a new era is to begin. Also, as we see in Matthew 13, 39, Jesus said that the time of harvest is the end of age. Then, what is the end of age referring to? This is referring to the end of the churches of Christianity where Jesus sowed the seed of the word. Thus, spiritual Israel comes to an end at the time of the second coming, which is the time of harvest. Then why would spiritual Israel come to an end? In Revelation 13, 1-2, and 6 to 7, it says that the group of the dragon comes out from the sea and enters the tabernacle of heaven and fights and conquers its saints. This means it becomes invaded. This is the spiritual Israel, which is the heaven where the sun and stars are at, become one with the devil, who is the dragon, and do the work of betrayal. Because of this event, spiritual Israel comes to an end. Then, once again, there must be the chosen people of God's kingdom again, isn't it? Spiritual Israel comes to an end like this, but the newly created chosen people are called the new spiritual Israel. Through this event, in Matthew 8, 11 to 12 says that the subject of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness, and many will come from the east and the west and take their places in the kingdom of heaven. Now thirdly, we will find out about the new spiritual Israel who are the chosen people at the time of the second coming. Through whom does the new spiritual Israel begin? Let's find out by reading Revelation 12, verse 5, and verses 9 to 11. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who will rule all nations with an iron scepter, and her child was snatched up to God and to his throne. The great dragon was hauled down, that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth, and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his Christ, for the accuser of our brothers, who accuses them before our God, day and night, has been hurled down. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. In Revelation 12 verse 5 and verses 9 to 11, there is the one who overcomes, who has fought and overcame the group of the dragon with the blood of the Lamb and the word of testimony. It says afterwards, there is a kingdom of God that is created. Here, the one who fought and overcame the group of the dragon, the one who overcomes, becomes Israel. And through this one who overcomes, God's kingdom is created. Therefore, this becomes new spiritual Israel. Then who becomes the chosen people of new spiritual Israel, which is God's kingdom at the fulfillment of Revelation, 
at the second coming of the Lord. Let's read together Revelation 14, 14 till 16. I looked, and there before me was a white cloud, and seated on the cloud was one like a son of man, with a crown of gold on his head, and a sharp sickle in his hand. Then another angel came out of the temple, and called in a loud voice to him who was sitting on the cloud, Take your sickle and reap, because the time to reap has come, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. So he who was sitting on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was harvested. In Revelation 14, 14 to 16, this content is related to the harvest, which is also mentioned in Matthew 13, verse 30. It is the content about how the people born of God's seed that Jesus sowed 2,000 years ago will be harvested and gathered. The farmer sowing the seed is for the harvest. Likewise, the work of the first coming of Jesus sowing the seed is also to harvest at the last days, the time of the second coming. Then where should the harvest happen? Of course, it must be at the field where the seed is sowed. Then, where did Jesus sow the seed? It is the churches of Christianity. Therefore, those who are harvested from the churches of Christianity become the chosen people born of God's seed. Let's read Revelation 7, verse 4. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. Revelation 7, 4 is about the 144,000 who are the sealed people of God among the 12 tribes of Israel. It is about them being the people who have engraved God's word in their minds and hearts and they become God's kingdom. Physical Israel was judged and came to an end at the time of the first coming. Spiritual Israel also comes to an end in Revelation 6 as the sun, moon, and stars darken and fall. Therefore, the Israel here we can see is not the physical Israel nor the spiritual Israel. Here, this is the new spiritual Israel. They are the ones born of God's seed from the churches of Christianity where Jesus sowed the seed. They have become harvested, sealed, and were created as the 144,000 of the 12 tribes. They have become God's chosen people of today, thus the new spiritual Israel 12 tribes. This time when God's new kingdom is created is a time when the kingdom of Israel will be restored, which is the time that the disciples asked to Jesus in Acts 1 verse 6. Also, Revelation 7 verse 9 onwards records about how after the 144,000 are sealed, there will be countless number of great multitudes dressed in white, thus the multitude in white coming before God, therefore they also become God's new people. At the time of Revelation's fulfillment, the one overcomes, who fought and overcame the group of the dragon, and became Israel, delivers the words of the open book of Revelation 10 which is the word testifying the fulfillment of the New Testament to the churches of Christianity that has been destroyed by the group of the dragon. By that, he harvests, seals, and creates the 12 tribes of new spiritual Israel. This place is called in Revelation 21, the new heaven and new earth, where the spiritual realm of heaven comes down to. They are the 12 tribes of Shincheonji. At this time, the reason why the words of the secrets of heaven, the parables can be testified plainly, is because now is the time when it can be plainly spoken, promised in John 16 verse 25, 
And it is because the physical entities promised in the Bible have appeared. At this time, the believers who have the love for the Word of God will be harvested, sealed, become the chosen people of the new spiritual Israel, and be saved. However, the believers who are not interested in the Word will be like the Jews who did not know that their own era has come to an end and a new era has come. They will only be proud that they are claiming that they are the chosen people and rather persecute and disrupt those who are the harvesters. All pastors and believers who are listening to this word right now, as you have the love for the word of God, I truly hope that you will listen to this word, harvest it, and be sealed, and become the new chosen people of God's eternal kingdom, the new spiritual Israel. I will summarize the word from today. At the time of the Old Testament, Jacob overcame, and the twelve tribes of physical Israel were created. However, they broke the covenant with God, and through the actions of betrayal, worshipping the Gentile gods, God ended the physical Israel at the time of the first coming, and then as Jesus became the new Israel, the twelve tribes of spiritual Israel were created. However, at the time of Revelation's fulfillment, even they did the actions of betrayal by becoming one with the group of the dragon who is Satan, and they come to an end. God and Jesus creates a new chosen people, the twelve tribes of new spiritual Israel, through the one who comes, who is the one who fought and overcame the group of the dragon. Today is the era of the new spiritual Israel, and its physical entities are the saints of the twelve tribes created by harvesting the fruits born of God's seal, God's seed, and sealing them. The twelve tribes of new spiritual Israel are God's chosen people of the eternal kingdom that will never be destroyed, as written in Daniel 2 verse 44. I hope we do not follow the previous world that passed away, but follow the new world that is coming and receive the blessing in the kingdom of heaven. Next lesson will be Lesson 23 of Elementary Course, The Three Kinds of Heaven and the Figurative Key. The instructor that will testify this word is very competent and a great instructor. I hope that you will attend next lesson as well and realize the secrets of heaven and receive much grace. To all the people who are listening to this seminar, I pray that you receive the blessing of God. Let us all become one with the new spiritual Israel where God and Jesus is at. And with that heart, let us all shout out, we are one and complete. We are all one in God and Jesus. We are one. Let us all pray together. To our thankful and gracious Father God, as you allow this seminar, you allow the testimony of the secrets of heaven, the parables and its true meaning, to be shared to all the family of faith worldwide. We truly thank you. To all the pastors and saints attending this seminar, they all have the love of God's Word. So through this Word that was testified today, the Word of the three kinds of Israel, let us all realize clearly and we can be with you in the new spiritual Israel and carry a life of faith. To all the precious people who visited today, please protect them so they're physically and spiritually well and please guide them so that we can also receive grace next time. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening well until the end. All people carry out a life of faith to go to the kingdom of heaven. Where is this heaven? And if we don't know where the heaven is at, then how can we go there? 
When God was on this earth, would we call that place of the spiritual realm as heaven? Because God's kingdom left this world and went up to the spiritual realm, that is why we call that place heaven. But when the kingdom of heaven has come from the spiritual realm onto this earth, we can say heaven has come near. Who has the only key of heaven? Who has the wisdom of heaven on this earth? Yes, as we saw in the video, next lesson will be lesson 23. The three kinds of heaven and the figurative key, the seminar will progress. I hope that we can all attend and we all be the ones who enter into the kingdom of heaven who, which is the place that we have hope for. The testimony on the parables of the secrets of heaven and their true meanings. Shincheonji Online Seminar like this is being broadcasted throughout the whole world through the official YouTube channel of Shincheonji Church of Jesus in 24 different languages. If you have any questions about Shincheonji Church of Jesus and its doctrine, other than the word that you heard today, please call these numbers shown on the screen. We would like to guide you kindly. Then, with the Lord's Prayer, we will complete all the orders of Shincheonji Online Seminar today. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. To everyone who are together today, thank you.